I don't know where did you want me to start? <laughs> um, um, start with why you think that he made this decision when ha, as he has. Well, it, it, the decision to not run for re-election, I can't say it caught me off guard. I know he'd been talking. The decision to resign at this point, that I never speculated or I never saw that coming. But as a friend and as a work colleague of his, it's my opinion that I think it was just no longer fun for him. And for those who really knew him, knew that he really ate, slept, and breathed the city of Akron. And I don't believe he liked looking for fights, but he was just one of those individuals. He just does not back down from a fight. And that same personality trait, though, if you know a lot of successful people, they are pretty straightforward people, pretty bullheaded people. I have a friend or two that are there very wealthy and that's just how they are and you know when they told him you could you'll never be able to build a stadium downtown nobody would ever come downtown he just forged ahead same thing occurred again when they told him nobody would ever support a concert venue downtown it wouldn't be safe he forged ahead you know it was that mentality that I'm just gonna keep fighting and I, I just think the, the fighting of 28 years I think took a toll on him I think he it just no longer was fun for him. Well, I was in law enforcement for 37 years and I went into work in a good mood all the time. And my wife used to be angry with me in the morning. She goes, you go to work in a good mood. I hate my job. And, and I did that for 37 years. And I truly believe he really enjoyed being the mayor of Akron and accomplishing the things that he accomplished for the residents of Akron. And I think, and this is just my personal opinion, it's no conversation with him. I think it just no longer was fun for him.